John Moore, a huge day here for you on Saturday, uh, 11 runners, but the moment all eyes to the sky with the weather. Yes, Mother Nature has been kind, very unseasonal weather, and uh, we're hoping that it might break today and clear up and a bit of sunshine before the weekend, which will give everybody an equal opportunity to win the race when the races are in. You know the track as well as anyone, this track does drain exceptionally well. It would take a lot of water to have an impact, wouldn't it? Definitely. Uh, as I said, if we get sunshine for the next two or three days, I'd say the track would be on just absolutely perfect for all concerned. As I said, you've got 11 runners. It's probably one of the biggest uh, teams you've got going around on Sunday and, and four in the sprint. Yes, if we start off in the sprint, uh, we'll probably kick off with time after time. A horse, you know, very progressive type. Um, with Douglas White aboard, a bit, bit unlucky. He didn't beat Lucky Nine the other day. Got a check coming out of the gates and for that reason got plattered back. Uh, you know, placed two more than what he wanted, but got to the line real strong. And, and um, that would probably be the pick of them. My others there, you've got, um, you know, Captain Sweet. Um, let me see, um, leading city, probably out of his league here, admiration, nice run, back from a mile, 1200 the other day, got to the line strongly, um, yeah, would be a, an each way prospect, and Captain Sweet's been in, in a, a bit of a, um, a problem with a bacterial infection of late, uh, managed to write that, he galloped this morning, the, uh, the race jock, possibly the race jock in Neil Cullen from England had said that uh, he pulled up very, very well, didn't cough or anything, would be scoped this morning, yeah, it would be probably pick up a place check. Barriers are going to play a pretty big part in that race, I imagine, so the barrier, barrier draw critical come tomorrow? Oh, definitely. I, I should have added that, that the barrier draw is so influential as to do your horse's chances. So if a horse like Time After Time could draw inside five or six, um, that would be ideal because he does come back in his races three quarters of the way back or whatever. But um, as you said, uh, crucial. The barrier draw is crucial. A couple of very good uh, other local horses in the race in, in Lucky Nine and... Um Little Bridge and also uh, C Sirena from Australia, so it's going to be a pretty hot tempo. Well, yes, yeah, you're going to have a lot of speed up front and that, which will suit uh, time after time in the first instance. But Lucky Nine, yeah, came back from Japan, did the job the other day, that was great for the, the, those concerned. And um, as I said, I haven't done the form really, uh, really that well at the, at the moment and uh, to see what are the other leading chances. But um, um, I, I'd, I'd, I'd like to think that time after time was uh, you yeah, would be finishing in the first three. You're defending your title in the Hong Kong Mile with uh, two runners this year. What do you make of their chances? Right. Well, Extension had a checkered passage into the race um, for the simple reason we missed one run with him because of um, um, some. Um, issues with one of his joints but that's now um, we've rectified that and um, he's uh, going to be ridden by James McDonald who uh, won the Champions Mile on him. Um, again it, it's if, if he could draw a good gate uh, extension even though he's just slightly underdone could get and get a nice toe into the race he'd be, he'd, he'd be a live chance but um, when I uh, look at the field here um, I'd have to think that my best chance would be packing Wizzy's going into the race fully tuned for it. Um, he's done everything right leading into it. 2000 the other day he just found fractionally uh, um, above him but um, bringing him back to the mile he's got an exceptional turn of foot and um, um, Brett Preble said equal to ambitious dragon and glorious days so that being the case you've got to give him a, uh, you know, a, a great chance of winning the race and from a good gate. The gate is crucial again. A real strong representation for you in the cup too with the four runners and some very well known to us. Yes, 2000 metres, Irian, uh, Zaidan, and a lesser light uh, military attack. Um, uh, starting from the top, Irian ran a great race the other day, just um, California memory got up on his outside and just uh, did him on the line. But you could say that Irian would be coming into the race at, at, in peak condition. And um, again, a little bit of luck in running and that, you've got to give him a live chance, also considering he's run to Snow Ferry and that. Uh, the other horse side end, um, we all saw him down in Singapore, we know he's very versatile, he can, he can mix his distances between the mile and the 2000. Um, I would think again, if he draws the nice gate, James McDonald on board again, who rode him in Singapore, I would think that he'd be right in the firing line too. So of the horses running in the race, um, of my four, I'd have to say that... Um, that um, Irian and um, Zidane are, um, are the leading lights in the race. Historically there's never been a great deal of pace on in that race, is that something you'd like, is there a little bit of speed there? Well, I've got four horses so I hope one of them can go on and make sure that it's not going to be run at snail pace, you know, which can change the whole complexion of the race. But um, I'm pretty sure there'll be enough speed in the race this time to, uh, to, uh, to make sure that um, my horses um, get the speed that they need to, uh, to, to finish off it, uh, you know, the way I want them to. 
It's a really big day for your local trainers and one you obviously really plan and strive to have a winner and have runners on the day. But what is uh, the one we can really look out for from the John Moore stable? Well, I suppose the pick of all of them would be have to be, well, I have two, uh, Time After Time and Packing Whiz. They're both absolutely in their peak condition and I give them the best chance for the stable. Best of luck for Sunday. Okay, thanks a lot, mate.